afternoon, how you all doing? Hope you are having a good day. I'm having a good day. Don't care if it's raining. Don't care if I'm getting wet. This is my first time out on my new bike. Waited two months for it to get delivered. I'll tell you that saga, that story in another video. So if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading. And if you're a current subscriber, thanks for your continued support. So this is it. A 2010 Yamaha FZ1N First actual ride to the bike Oh the heated grips are nice First time ever with heated grips They're superb Right so straight away Very very comfortable Very easy to ride Virtually bolt upright on it as well. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen I taken a Yamaha MT10 out for a test ride. Thanks to MCS and Comarnock for letting us do that, and I loved it. And pretty much wanted one. But at the time, I stuck with my sports bikes. So the sports bike went in November, so believe it or not, I haven't been out since November, so it's been a long couple of months for me. But this bike definitely can move. Bags of power. Straight away. I don't know if that's it's got power commander fitted, so I don't know if it's down to that. But it just delivers it straight away. So first impressions as soon as I got on the bike was how comfortable it was how smooth it is as well I mean I'm in 6th gear 30 mile an hour and it'll pull but what's kind of shocked me the most is that it's smooth, the throttle's really really smooth and I might bang on a bit in this video but I've been so excited waiting to get my hands on this bike and the weather's been absolutely shocking but today I just I couldn't contain myself any longer I had to come out in it so I've got a wee bit wet I spent about 20 minutes on the bike so far before I started shooting the video just to get a feel for her but I'm very impressed so far. Peg height's really good. <laughs> very comfortable. I like to be right in at the tank, but there's plenty to move back, sit back in the seat. But I like to be like my thighs to be gripping the tank. Mirrors are good. No vibration through them. It's very responsive. Brake wise, the back brake is. <laughs> there's virtually nothing there. Very woolly. But the front brake is uh, as it should be. So, 320mm discs on the front. Not sure of the back size, but it'll no matter because the back's useless. The front brakes are. 
brilliant, very precise. So what else? So we've got heated grips on it, we've got a gear indicator, we've got a power commander. And I think it's that power commander that's delivering such a smooth throttle. It's got bags of power. For me it feels a big, big bike. Obviously it's a 998cc and it's the old R1 engine. As anybody will know now, the R1 engine's a cross plane engine, this is before that. So it just detuned fuel differently, but absolutely no complaints so far. So I'm just pulling into Largs, I'm going to have a quick coffee and then I'll continue this. This might be a long video, there's just so much to talk about in this bike. It really is something else. This is a hidden gem. Absolute hidden gem here, bike. So, I'll just get in here and get a wee coffee. I'll catch back up with you soon. So, I'll do a wee walk around for you. So, there it is. A 2010 Yamaha FZ1N. Sun's out. Makes it a wee bit difficult to video it. So this is my first ride here. Make sure there's no cars, don't get run over. So a bit of an eye opener. For me anyway. So it's a 998cc. In line 4, it's the old R1 engine, detuned. Seat height's 1815mm, it's an 18 litre tank. It's 147 brake horsepower at 11,000. And I think it's 106 newton metres of torque at 8,000. So, already on it. It's got, I changed the colour of the wheels to gold, as you can see. The can that's came with it uh, is going to get changed. Because that's, that's just a cheap end can that's on it at the moment. Sounds alright, but not my cup of tea, that'll be getting changed. So I get the wheels changed to gold, they were yellow. It's got a gear indicator fitted, heated grips. Power Commander as well. So first impressions for me, I love it. I'll get a better video put together for you. But I'll put the specs up on the screen so you can s see them. Just make sure they're right. So it's done 21,000 miles. It's in pretty good neck. There's a couple of scuffs here, there and everywhere, as you would expect. The bike's nearly 10 years old. Well, it is 10 years old. So let's get back on the bike. If you have any questions about it, put it in the comments. Here we go. Now well, that's me back. So I'll just make my way down the coast. Alright, so good time to talk about the dash. Just get your mileage, your speed. It's got a fuel gauge, temperature gauge for the bike and obviously the time, which is wrong. I need to fix that. These people with the tickets here, man. <laughs> Love it. 
I'll make my way back along the coast, it might start raining again. Not that I'm bothered. Nice wee sound off that cheap can. Is there rain on? It's not going to dampen my spirits. Aye, so where were we? Aye, so first impressions is this is a wee hidden gem of a bike. Very smooth. You can flick it about as well. It's quite a heavy bike, but whatever everything else, once you're moving, it's absolutely fine. So I need to take it easy, I've got a new back tyre on it. I'm running with the battle axe. As soon as I pulled away from the garage this morning, I nearly binned it straight away. The bike went sideways. But that'll just be me opening the throttle. No thinking that the torque comes in so much quicker. As I said, the power commander might be the reason for that. Because generally first and second gear on an FZ1s, it's held back. And it doesn't deliver everything in first and second gear. It's going to be a wee bit sluggish, but uh, this certainly isn't it. So that kind of caught me out straight away. Gone sideways. But I managed to recover it. So I need to remind myself to take it a wee bit easier. Not used to the power of the bike and a new back tyre. It's very windy along the coast. You're probably picking up. But it's very comfortable. Very comfortable through some major miles in this. I haven't found a bad thing to say about it yet. Hopefully it's just a tad less windy along the coast and I'll open it up a wee bit. But it's a familiar road to me so that's why I've came this way today. I've got a meet up with Throttle Daft, Scott Nav and Dart Visor tomorrow night. Throttle Daft spent a bit of money on his bike, so you'll get to see that. And Scott Nav has purchased an MT10, which is lovely looking, brand new. So you'll get to see that in a video as well. Aye, so front brakes really, really sharp, really good. Just a two finger press is enough to get you stopped. Mirrors are good, nice clear speedo as you can see. Back brake is the back brake. What a rubbish on the road. Ah, it's pretty poor the back brake. So I suppose that is a negative. Bags are power. Throttle's really smooth. The power commander's just give me all that power right at the beginning. First gear. Away you go, sideways if you're me. <laughs> Wasn't it funny at the time, by the way? It's very comfortable. Gearing's smooth, no issues with the gearing either. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. Putting it into neutrals, nice and easy as well. Stand, putting the stand downs nice and easy. Just, it really is. A very comfortable, powerful bike. I'll give it a wee push here. Bags 
up a lot. One day The wheat screen on it, silken The air flow is pretty smooth The front brakes are absolutely perfect Take six, see what the power like. Alright. Use that top, top gear, six gear overtake. Plenty of power there. She switched her roads on a wee bit drier. Hopefully, the camera's okay. See everything. I will say one thing, it's the first time I've ever been on a bike with heated grips and they are fantastic. So if you're thinking you're stepping up to a bigger bike and you're looking for a naked bike, then this is definitely one to go and search out. Find a good one. Somewhere about a cat fit it like this one, the gear indicator, the power commander. This bike could get you into trouble. Dry roads! That was me telling myself to take it easy with this back tyre. <laughs> Right, here we go. Let's get it down here. As you can probably tell, I'm really enjoying this bike and I love it. This is going to be a long video. 